Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Taylor, and today we're going to do a dumb but interesting video to see just how strong Harbor Freight suction cups are. We're going to try to pull my 10,000 pound Ford F450, and I bought 10 of them. We'll see how many it takes to actually pull it, or if it'll pull it at all. And uh, this is what we're working with. This is a four and a half inch suction cup. They're $3.99 at Harbor Freight. They have a little lock-in deal here, and they seem pretty strong. So if you stick them to like this lift it's not not safe really but you can see it's pretty strong so i have a pretty good hope that it might work um and looking at their packaging here they're um they say they're for pulling dents and it says pliable rubber cup creates enough suction to pull an 80 pound object so we'll see if that's true i feel like it'll pull more but we'll have to wait and find out so I think the best odds of getting these things to stick right or to do them to the bumper here where it's flat, there's one place on either side and I'm gonna clean it up with glass cleaner so we can get a real good suction out of this thing. So we just got the bumper cleaned up. We're gonna see how well these things stick. We can get started. That's pretty good. <laughs> Jesus. Let's get a little more on there. Yeah, I just smashed my elbow. Uh, you'll be all right. It's gonna have to be like right here. I got you. Well, guys, I think that's gonna work. It's moving the whole truck around when I pull on it, so let's give it a shot. We got some tension on there. Jump in here and uh, throw this thing in neutral. I'm just gonna leave the truck off. And throw it in neutral. All right. Yep. Well, that was an absolute failure. Thing popped off immediately. So we're gonna have to uh, use a lot more of these 10 suction cups I've got. All right, we got one there and one here. Get our straps going. Yeah, go for it. Gosh, man, these things are popping off immediately. We're really gonna have to bring out the big guns. How are we gonna do this? Man, the rear bumper. The tailgate would be the best option because it's so flat, but I don't want to destroy it either. Bumper's got kind of a curve to it. Well, I really didn't want to do this, but we're going to the tailgate. We're gonna try with six now. Well, we're actually gonna to need to change locations because this slight grade is just way too much weight for those things, so. We've got six on the back now. Hopefully that's gonna do it. Um, but if not, we've got four more we can try. So we'll see how it goes. So I left the truck in neutral. I'm not too afraid about the thing running away. And you've got a new apparatus here. So pull up. All right, ease onto it. Real slow. Oh, we got it. Oh. Oh, we lost two. Shoot. Two popped off right away. I think the problem that we're having is it's so cold outside that these things don't want to stick too well. So we're going to preheat them a little bit with a torch. All right guys, so we got all 10 on here. We heated the tailgate a little bit with a torch and don't freak out, my friend Trevor does paintless dent repair for a living, so we didn't burn the paint or anything, but it's all prepped. We rubbed alcohol and all of it to really clean it up, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we've got tension now. Oh. So the problem we're having is that with these kind of like triangulated like that, it's pulling the ones on the side and lifting them inward instead of pulling straight out. So I grabbed this broomstick. We're gonna throw the broomstick through the middle of all of these things and then just hook the hooks directly to uh, one of the spots and hopefully we'll have some better luck. This is some real nice engineering. So we've got our broomstick through. Hopefully it's good enough to hold up since the, the uh, areas are pretty narrow. So hopefully we don't break the stick, but we've got it all hooked up real well. Fingers crossed. If this doesn't work, I don't know if anything will. All right, 
Just go. Don't don't like hammer it though. Oh! Just just let off the brake and idle. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Holy gosh! Look at this! <laughs> this is awesome! All right, slow down. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was incredible. It's still going. Wow. Those things are strong. Woohoo! Look at that. Man, we pulled this thing like 25 feet. I think we could pull this thing like pretty darn far. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe that worked. It pulled really well too. I, we just want to look at the tailgate and make sure we're not destroying the poor thing. He could fix it, but he doesn't like to fix stuff that isn't his own. Man, that was unbelievable. That really worked pretty well. Yeah, that did good. All right, guys, we reset our little scientific runway right here. And since we've now perfected our pulling method, having the stick in the middle, that makes all the difference. We're gonna start pulling them off and see how little of suction cups we can do this with. All right, we brought it down to three on each side, six total. And uh, hopefully this doesn't screw the tailgate up since there's less surface area we're pulling from. All right, go ahead and ease it forward. Just let off the brake and let it go. Oh! One of these hooks popped off. Yeah, just let off the brake and let it, let it go. Oh! Oh! These ones are like pulling right in here. Oh, that's like the threshold of suction cups, I think. Man, it's pulling good though. God, look at that. These things are strong. Man, so six. I guess we're gonna have to try, we're gonna get down to like four and see if that'll do it. But man, that's doing well. Well, as you just saw there, I slipped and bashed this a little bit, but that'll buff out, no big deal. I hate messing my stuff up doing dumb stuff. All right, yeah, just pull up the slack. Keep going. All right, the tension's pulled up. Just drop the brakes. Yeah, just let go of the brake. Oh! Well, that was it. And my tailgate get messed up. Super duty, built forward tough. It's no big deal. Well guys, it looks like that was it. Six was the minimum and um, it worked. I can't believe it worked, but it worked. All right guys, that is going to conclude today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the most scientific video, but it's interesting nonetheless to see how much weight those suction cups can pull. I was pretty impressed with them to be honest. I, I thought that it might not even work. But um, I was pleasantly surprised once we got our apparatus set up correctly to really pull straight out on those things. And we did it with a minimum of six. And doing that math, my truck, the last time I had it on a scale was like 9,800 pounds with like a half tank of fuel. So it was right around 10,000 today when we did the video. And I believe the math came out to about roughly 1,600 pounds per suction cup pulling that truck, which is pretty impressive compared to the 80 pounds they mentioned on there. And I know that math works out a little bit differently given that we were pulling uh, you know, rolling mass versus dead mass that they advertise on there, but pretty interesting stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more automotive content like you saw here today. Probably gonna be doing some more videos goofing around like this one today. And then I'm also doing some different car builds, including my car you see right behind me doing a full engine build, transmission swap, a whole lot of stuff. So um, check back in in the future and see what's going on on the channel here. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next video.